I was recently contacted by a client and she sent me this picture and she wanted to know if there was any way I could recreate the look of these coffee table books. She really didn't want to go out and spend the money to have these expensive books, but she wanted to know if there was a way I could recreate this. Of course I said yes. You got to watch this because I got some things I want to show you. I've got some loaded on the brush. I'm going to wipe it off. Okay, I have found paint that I'm going to use to paint these. And I want to show you these again. And I think the first thing we're going to start with is the black book. Get this all painted in the black color. And then we're going to see how well this covers. If it doesn't cover very well, I probably will have to put a black piece of vinyl on before I put on the gold vinyl. So I have grabbed out uh, some of my acrylic paints in different colors. I'm going to have to find uh, something in the gold. I've grabbed out a bunch of different brushes, see how things uh, work in here. I'm going to try and keep it off of the inside on the pages itself. So I'm gonna try and open it up. I'm not worried about it in here, but I don't want it on the actual pages. So I'll have to probably get a detail brush out too. I am going to squirt some of my paint into a paper plate, which will make things a little bit easier. Let's get started. also black but only on the sides <clears throat> so this is going to have the white panel on it that I can get this situated here get some more black paint One coat of the acrylic Liquitex paint on both sides of here. Let me get this real quick. It's kind of glab. Okay. Now, when these dry, if they do feel rough, like you can kind of see I have some brush marks there. Um, if need be, this is the bottom of a book, so I might not have to worry about it. But you can always sand them and do a little bit more repainting. So I'm going to let these two dry because they took up my space here. I'm going to throw this in a jar of water. And then once those dry, we can get back to doing these two again. This one will be in silver and this one will be in a gold color. So we'll be back. Okay, just one coat actually seems to look pretty nice on these. Uh, I will show you those in a minute. I did go and do the edges on one side of this. So I'm waiting for those to dry and then I'll flip them over and do the other side. While the edges of these dry, I'm gonna go ahead and do the next book. Now this one is gonna have to be in silver, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a gray. Um, this is Liquitex, it's just a basic uh, gray acrylic. And then also this is uh, the same thing, basically, just a different package. 
So I want to start with the gray and then I'll put the metallic on top of it. books basically finished. I decided to only show you the one because it's the same exact process with all of them. So this being the last one is the Christian Dior book and that of course is silver, uh, at least the book. We are putting a coat of Mod Podge onto the outside of this because I want to make sure that my, get a little bit of water in here. I want to make sure that this vinyl sticks well and to maybe fill in any crevices that are from the original binding. They're kind of, um, I don't want to call them etched in there, but they, they have indentations. So um, they're not all covering as well as I would like them to, but I think it looks pretty darn good. So we're gonna let this sit for a minute, get that dry. Now, I have already obviously printed this out using my Cricut. I found all of these logos just by Googling the names and I believe I put in like um, free logo or something like that. And they all popped up. So once I found the logo that I wanted for each one, I was able to basically take a picture of it and save it. And then I was able to import it into the Cricut. I was able to clean it up, which means take off any background parts to it. And then there it was all ready to be able to uh, cut out on the vinyl and put on the book. So this is going to sit right on here and we will do that as soon as we get done. But let me show you these. I'm not quite finished. I wanna do a coat of Mod Podge on uh, the edges, uh, the tops and the bottom. And I think once I get them the way that we, uh, the way the picture shows, I think I'm actually going to glue them together. I'm not quite, quite sure, and I do have a couple of little spots here that I'm going to have to um, uh, fix up from the pages, getting a little bit of paint on them. As you can see on this one, I still have to go in and do the gold, okay? And basically all I'm going to have to do with that is open the book, do some paint in there, and we should be good. Okay, I've let this dry for a while now, and I think we are ready to go. I'm going to take my... Final. And I've got it on my transfer tape here. Make sure I can get it peeled off nicely. And look at it for that. And sometimes, I'll show you this. It is easier to remove your vinyl by pulling from the underneath. So let's get this back over here. I'm going to lay it out, make sure it's fairly centered. I'm just gonna set it there. I'm gonna pull this down just a little bit. Let 
looks pretty nice. So now I'm going to press with my fingers kind of burnish this in and sometimes the heat from your fingers will help it attach. I've had them before where I've literally had to apply heat to them because I could not get it to stick. So I would use my mini heat press. picture here real quick. Well, I don't think they turned out too bad. This is a project I think anyone would have fun with. Just get a couple of old books, recover them, paint them, do something really fun, and make them look like some kind of a really cool decor that you'd like to have in your home. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon.